Hi, don't miss this video. It's the DIY Queen Diva. I'm getting ready to show you how to do these Christmas bows like right now. So let me hear somebody scream, ow! Okay, so you need two and a half inch of ribbon, your little jingle bells, and your Chanel stem, and your scissors. I purchased everything from Joann's Fabrics, but you can probably get all this from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. So first, you're going to make a loop. I need to cut my ends here. Cut that wire to just to make sure nothing's sticking out. And I'm not going to, well, usually I don't measure anything. So, but I am just going to measure today. Make a twist. And then measure out six inches of ribbon. Make sure your ribbon is facing the good side. And you're going to make a loop and bring it to the middle. Okay, you're going to hold the middle, straighten out your ribbon, and then you're going to make a twist, kind of. Yeah, go ahead and make a twist, and then you're going to measure out six inches of ribbon again. Make sure the good side is facing up, and go ahead and make another six inch loop and bring it to the middle. Now, you really don't have to twist again on this particular ribbon. These are the ribbons that you're going to, um, you can hang on your Christmas trees, you can do whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna measure out six inches again, bring a loop. Now watch, I'm not going to make a twist, I am just going to hold it in the middle and I'm going to straighten out my ribbon and then I am going to do another six inches. Make sure you secure it with your thumb and your other two fingers. And I am measuring out another six inches for you guys and I am going to make a loop and bring it to the middle. And then I am going to straighten out my bow. So at this point, if you want a tail, you're going to leave some ribbon. But if you don't want a tail, you can go ahead and cut the ribbon. And then you make a big loop, bring it to the middle, and do one big twist. When you bring it to the middle and cut in the cut, the middle of the long loop. You can fold the ribbon to be even, to make sure your ribbon is even and just cut in the middle. Okay. But at the same time, make sure you're holding um, the ribbon in the back, in the middle with your thumb and your two fingers. You can use three fingers if you need to. At this time, I'm going to take my Chanel stem and bring it through the middle part of the bow and bring it to the back and twist. I'm gonna pull and twist until it's secured. I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and straighten out my bow, straighten out the ribbon, and cut the ribbon from the spool. Mm -hmm. 
and then I am going to trim up my tails. So I am going to get my little jingle bells and all you do is bring your Chanel stem around and stick the jingle bell, the little loop part of the jingle bell and just slide it. You can hot glue um, these jingle bells on the ribbon so you can see them better in the middle. Um, after doing these, I thought about just I should have just hot glue gun got my hot glue gun and glued the jingle bells in the middle of the ribbon so you can really see them. So I am taking the jingle bell and just sliding it down the Chanel stem. And that's it. So I'm gonna do two more. I bring my Chanel stem down and around to the back. So I am going to fluff out my bow and I'm pretty much done with this one. So you can use this one and um, make a lot of them and put them all around your Christmas tree to fill in your Christmas tree. All right now, Miss Queen Diva, do your thing, do your thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and decorate some Christmas ornaments so they don't look so plain. So you need your Christmas ornament and a half inch of ribbon and your scissors. And of course your hot glue gun to glue the ribbon on the Christmas ornament. So I have done these bows um, in other videos and I do have one particular video how to do fancy bows and I'll post that at the top of the screen if you really need to know step by step how to make these little fancy bows I usually um, make these bows and use them on my candy apple sticks so I'll go ahead and post that video up if you need instructions step by step on how to make these bows. I think the biggest issue is when you're bringing it under the loop. Um, you just don't know how to bring it up under the loop, but it's really easy once you learn. I believe I am going to use the bows with no tail, but I can show you how your Christmas ornament will look with a tail, but I am not going to leave the tail. I am going to cut off my tails. So you just take your hot glue gun and dab a little glue on the back and stick it onto your ornament. So this is what your bow will look like with a tail, but you can also leave your tails a little longer. But I am not going to leave the tails on. I am going to cut the tails off of this particular ornament. So right now I am cutting off my tails. And 
And this is what the Christmas ornament looks with no tail. I like this look better. Um, just my opinion, I like it better with no tail. thing do your thing so I am at my workstation here and I have a two and a half inch ribbon this is a cute ribbon it doesn't have a lot of glitter like the gold ribbon if you can stay away from uh, the ribbon with the glitter is best or you're gonna have glitter everywhere but it's cute so I mean it's Christmas time it's about glitter so you will have a lot of glitter with this one everywhere so what I am going to do is measure out six inches of ribbon and bring this out some and then I am going to squeeze or pinch. But this is not the right side. So what I have to do is kind of twist it. So you need to twist your ribbon while you're holding the back of the loop with your thumb and your three fingers. So I'm going to measure out let's see six inches and I'm going to pinch and then I'm gonna make a loop I'm gonna make a loop and bring it to the back and I am going to twist this Give it a good twist. You just need to do this probably one time. Give it one good twist. Straighten out your bow. Bring this around because now you're going to get the other side and you're going to measure out six inches. And again, this is not the right side, so I can give it a pinch, bring the ribbon over, and let's just double check to make sure it's uh, six inches. And you just give it a pinch. You bring it to the back. Hold in the back. And then you're going to give it a twist. This one I gave about two, maybe three turns. Okay, so now you're going to, you know, straighten out your bow. Let me make sure you guys can see it. Yeah. So you're going to straighten out your bow the best that you can. So now, I am going to make seven inch loop. And they're going to go that way, that way, down, diagonal, and that way. So I guess I can start, since my ribbon is already up here, I can start. I usually don't measure because I do this really fast, but I'm just going to show you guys. So I am going to do seven inches. I'm going to measure out seven inches of ribbon. So, um, the first one was a loop, 
these are six. Now I'm gonna do seven inches four times. So I have my loop. I'm making my loop. And I need to twist several times. And you just straighten out your ribbon. So you can see your bow is starting to form. So I'm gonna make sure I have a good twist here. So I'm gonna do seven inches again. And I need to turn this. Make sure you guys are, um, make sure your ribbon is the correct way. The right side facing up. So I'm gonna pinch it at seven. You make your loop. And you gotta make sure you twist. So now I'm gonna make another topper. And you're going to measure out seven inches. And then I am going to pretty much make sure, guys, that it's facing the correct way. So when you're doing seven inches, make sure it's going the correct way as far. Just make sure it's facing the correct way because if you turn it on the back, you can see the difference. It's not a two-faced ribbon. So make sure you have the correct way facing up. That's the best way I can say it. You're gonna pinch, and I am going to, so I need one more seven inch to go this way. I have my tops and then I have my one bottom. So I'm gonna make sure it's twisted in the back. Take, do a twist and measure out seven inches. So I like to just go all the way to the end and do seven inches. Okay. But look at your ribbon. My ribbon is at top, so I need to just bring my ribbon down this way since I am going to be making it this way. Since I'm gonna be at the bottom, I'm gonna bring my spool of ribbon down at the bottom. So go ahead and get your seven inches and pinch. You can probably use a marker to mark your, make a loop, just go ahead and make a loop. But you wanna make sure. I'm not gonna measure, well, let's see. You're gonna make sure, so I pinch right there. You can use a mark if you need to, to mark your spot. So I'm gonna switch hands for just one second to get my loop over there. Make sure you hold the middle with your thumb and you can use three fingers in the back. And then you're gonna give that a twist. I need to straighten out my ribbon. And at the end, I'm gonna straighten it out too. Since I'm on this side, 
I am going to probably do eight inches. Now I'm gonna do eight inches. Two eight inches, I'm gonna do an eight inch that way. I'm gonna do an eight inch that way to the left and an eight inch to the right. And I'll pretty much be done with the ribbon and I'll show you how to leave your tails on. So give that a twist. Well, my ribbon ended up on this side, so well, no, let's just go ahead and get this side done. When we twist, again, make sure it's on the correct, it's on the correct side. So I'm gonna measure eight inches. And I'm gonna bring it out to the left. I'm gonna give it a good twist, two twists in the back. And then I am going to do eight inches to the right. Pinch, loop. and give it a twist. And like I said, make sure you have everything secure in the back. Okay, so I'm gonna use a Chanel stem. I'm gonna use red. Okay, so let's go over this. So you have your loop and your six. Then you have your seven, 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 seven. And then you have your two eights, eight, eight. Now I can do a bigger ribbon and go nine, 10, 11, 12, if I want it to be like a topper on my Christmas tree. But these are bows that I will be filling in the gaps on my Christmas tree. Um, okay, so we have this twisted. And I need a tail for this. So I am going to, I'm not even gonna measure this. You know how long you want your tail. So I am going to, this is my tail. I'm gonna make a loop. I'm gonna twist in the back of it. Hold everything together in the back. I'm gonna twist this about four times. So at this point, you can go ahead and cut your ribbon from the spool. So you can cut your ribbon from the spool and this is what you should have. Make sure you're holding everything in the back. So I'm gonna use this Chanel stem and I am going to stick it in the loop, the loop that I made at the very beginning and bring it around the back. And I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna pull, and I'm going to twist. And you can twist as many times as you need. So I'm going to twist, twist, until it's tight, until you feel it like really tight. You don't want this to come loose. It's not gonna go anywhere if you got it tight. Okay. So we can fluff out our bow here, which will be cute.
So, okay, I'm going to cut the middle of the tail part. Just fluff it out. Go on, hey girl, do your thing, do your thing. So now I have a two and a half gold um, ribbon and this has a lot of glitter so glitter is going to be everywhere and with this particular ribbon I'm gonna go ahead and cut the ends the wires so to make sure no wires are um, hanging out I'm gonna go ahead and make my loop but the feel of this material I feel like I need a hot glue the loop just the feel of this material it's a different type of material i feel like i just need to hot glue the loop to make sure the loop stays in place okay so i have hot glued the loop and now we're going to do just like we did before we're going to make our um six inch um loops our seven inch loops and our eight inch loops and then our tail. So let's go ahead and get started. So go ahead and um, twist and make sure your thumb is in the middle of the loop. And you're gonna go ahead and measure six inches, turn your loop right side up, make your loop and twist. And then you're gonna do the other side just like you did this side. And it's the same procedure you saw in the previous part of this video. Straighten out your bow by fluffing it. And now we're going to go ahead and twist at the end and then measure seven inches four times to go four times around the bow. Okay, here's my seven inches. So I am going to make my loop, twist, and repeat this three more times. Make sure you twist and your ribbon is facing on the right side, facing right side up before you make your next loop. Twist, measure, right side up. Make sure the right side is facing up. Make your loop and do the next one. And it's just a repeating process. Now I am going to do only two eight inch um, loops, one on the left and one on the right, and then make my tail.
also just get extra ribbon like I did with the previous ribbon to make a big loop for your tails and now I am going to cut the ribbon for my two tails and straighten up my ribbon fluffing my ribbon out and straightening up my tails so I am just going to slant and cut my um, tails Queen Diva, I see you all right now. Uh huh. Hey, don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe button to keep updated with all of my videos on the weekends. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to tell your friends and family about my channel. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye bye.